Even the sub-zero weather conditions couldn't take away how good the Gatorade shower felt for victorious coach Mike Dollymore. A packed crowd came out to support the Red Bombers take on the Holland College Hurricanes. The game was held at BMO Field in Fredericton, the home of the UMB Football Club. This was a rematch of last year's Atlantic Football League Championship game where the Red Bombers lost easily to the Hurricanes. Nobody on the team wanted the same result this season, including offensive lineman Matt Murray. Oh, definitely. So they beat us 28 0. Not left a bad taste in everybody's mouth all season long, all off season long. It feels real good to come back to our home and beat it. After a scoreless opening quarter, UMB quarterback Brendan Cornford found A.J. Durling on a 75 yard touchdown pass to put the Bombers up 7 0. At halftime, the game was tied up at 7. The third quarter saw the Bombers go back to a familiar play. Cornford to Durling for their second touchdown of the game and the eventual winning point. A late interception sealed the win for the Bombers. Time to celebrate. The team bench started the celebrations first, in the final seconds until the clock finally hit zero. Then the excitement began. The final score ended up being 14-7 for UMB. Although Durling and Cornford were great in the game, Coach Dollymore gave a lot of praise to his defense. Our defense hung in there the whole uh, second half. We had trouble converting our first downs in the second half, and uh, the defense stopped, has to be five, six drives in a row. We didn't give them field position, but they came up big every drive and stopped it even right down to the last little bit. Eight yards left to go, 30 seconds, and we came up with that interception. Fantastic win. After the celebrations died down, the team was presented with their second Moosehead Cup in the last four years. Then parents and loved ones got their turn with the champions. Long after the game had finished, kids and teenagers were still on the field, possibly inspired by the Bombers. Perhaps in the future, those teenagers could lead the Bombers to more winning seasons. For Stu Journalism, I'm Robert Johnson.